If you want to improve the way that you draft as an architecture student, I've got seven drafting hacks for you. These are seven of those light bulb moments I've had as an architecture student. The small things that make huge differences. And these seven hacks are from my new interactive online architecture course, 70 Hacks for Archie Students. If you haven't checked that out yet, I highly recommend you do. I spent over six months on it and it's completely free. It's packed with all these small little tips or these hacks that make huge impacts on the work that you do in architecture school. So let's go through the seven biggest drafting hacks for Archie students. Don't you hate it when you're working on a drawing, you look down and you see this? Just a big fat smudge all over your work? Fear no more because there is a way to prevent smudging when drafting because this is something that is quite common especially across first year students who don't know about the impact of smudging. And you can spend hours on a project and then you look down at your work and you realize that you've just lent in your pencil and you've dragged it across your page and now you've got this big smudge that makes your work look terrible. This actually happened to me in my first year and I had to redo my page because I had just some huge smudge over my work and it was not fun. I spent way too long on that work. So this hack is to prevent this from happening to you. Step number one, grab a piece of cardboard or paper or tape or anything you can find. Step number two, lay it on the back side of your ruler. And the final step number three is to tape over it. It's as simple as that. This is something my first year tutor showed me. And since then, every single ruler I've bought, I've done this to. The way it works is that it creates a space between your ruler and your fabulous work. It allows you to move your ruler freely without dragging along your ruler across your work, ultimately causing smudging of any pencil or pen lines you've got on your drawing. Moving on to drafting hack for architecture students, number two. This is for when you have to do some real tedious kind of drafting. Those times where you have to draw bricks or columns or walls over and over and over because let's say you've got a universal column that you're using in your project that's 300 millimeters in diameter and then let's say also you've got a brick that you use quite often in your drawings as well that's 110 millimeters and then of course it doesn't stop there you've got insulation you've got walls and you've got timber studs and all these other things that you have to draw and it's so hard to keep track of how far apart you should be drawing these so instead of trying to remember that the walls are 150 mils the bricks are 110 so forth you can draw those dimensions on a plain piece of paper Paper and use that as a guide so that you don't have to keep on referring back to your ruler otherwise what some people do is they'll mark out on their ruler with a line or a piece of tape to show how far apart those things should be but it can be quite painful when you have to go through all your drawings and you have to keep finding out how far apart you should be drawing these on your scale ruler instead you can systematize this by drawing that on a plain piece of paper and then using that piece of paper as a template or as a guide to help you draw the rest of your drawings that's how you systematize. So the third drafting hack for Archie students is actually by Leon Austria. And this is a rendering hack, which I think is overpowered as hell. This is a hack which lets the printer render your drawings for you. That is pretty damn OP. So step number one, print off a picture that you would like to trace in color. Step number two, place the print face down on your sheet and dab it with rubbing alcohol. This will actually transfer the printer ink onto your sheet and it makes it look like a watercolor drawing. Drawing. Step number three would be to grab a fine liner and then start drawing over the top of it. And step number four is to stand back and admire the fantastic work you've just produced. And I just wanted to say a big thank you to Liam for letting me use these hacks in the course. I've already had so many students saying that they really appreciate the collaboration of all these different YouTubers and Instagrammers and all these different amazing hacks that have changed everything for everyone. So thank you to Liam. This hack is absolutely perfect if you have a digital render of your model and you want to showcase case it in a different style. It can also be used if you've got a photograph of a building that you want to redraw or re-replicate. But it's always important to know that if you're not learning anything from doing it, then it's probably not worth doing. Getting good grades is nowhere near as important as getting good education. As Leon mentions in his video, to use this wisely and don't show your teachers. So then the drafting hack number four, this is a big one. All you need is a plastic storage container and a torch, which could be your phone. Voila, you've got yourself a do-it-yourself light trace box. Genius! 
So drafting hack number five for architecture students is to help you never lose a pen again. And this is quite simply to tie your two most used pens together using a rubber band. That way you can just flick between the two with ease and you'll never lose that pen again. Rather than having to draw along and then you have to put down a pen and then you have to try and find where you put it down and you end up losing it or dropping it on the floor under your table, I've done that a lot of times and it's painful as hell. Instead, all you have to do is just flick them around, you keep the lids off of them and you just draw along like no problem. And hack number six is to extend your lines. And you might be wondering why architects tend to extend their lines past the stopping point. And the reason for this is to avoid any confusion in drawings. Huh? Doesn't that make it more confusing? Well, no, think of the alternative. Architects tend to rush when trying to get their sketches or drawings onto a piece of paper. The alternative is that when rushing, your lines fall short of the stopping points. This can look sloppy and cause confusion. Do the walls connect or does it stop beforehand and not connect? It's better to overextend than underextend and you can always clean it up in the final drawings. Along with accuracy and precision, it just gives you bonus style points for looking cool like an architect's piece of work. So the seventh and final drafting hack for architecture students is actually by Surviving Architecture. If you guys haven't checked her out on YouTube or Instagram, definitely do go check her out. She's got a lot of great content to help architecture students along with some architectural hacks kind of videos as well, just like this one. So Rasha, who was the person behind Surviving Architecture, has this hack where it makes it super easy to draw architectural textures. If you want to draw a wood texture or a concrete texture, rather than having to draw these little dots and do all this kind of silly stuff. All you have to do is underlay your drawing with some kind of textured material or textured object and then you just have to draw over the top of it and it's going to draw that texture onto your sheet. When I first saw this, I thought this was incredible. That's such a great way to draw textures and it's one of the biggest hacks that I've used as an architecture student. So definitely do go give that a try and definitely do go check out Surviving Architecture on YouTube. The description is going to have links to Leon and Rush's YouTube channel so definitely do go check them out. Once again, thank you to them for letting me use this content in the free course. Thank you guys so much for watching if you want to check out the free course i do recommend it go check it out it's completely free and it's packed with golden nuggets like the ones in this video as always thank you guys so much for making it all the way to the end you are my favorite thank you so much if you want to check out another one of my videos they're to the side here if you want to subscribe to the youtube channel you can press that button down below and i'll catch you guys in the next episode take care guys